In the strongest communique yet against the democratically elected president, Niger's ruling junta says it will prosecute Mohamed Bazoum for high treason. The junta accuses Bazoum, who has been under house arrest since he was deposed last month, of colluding with foreign powers. The move is likely to further marginalize the president and could complicate chances of finding a resolution to the crisis in Niger. The military has been building support in the country for the putsch that overthrew the government, as evidenced by attendees at a pro-military concert in Niamey on Sunday, who said their main concern is security in the country. We think it's best to leave the military which took power in charge of handling security. Let them be. They'll keep us safe and secure because we've been harmed a lot. Our husbands, children and fathers have been killed. For now, the diplomatic standoff continues. But on Sunday, a religious delegation sent from Nigeria said it had made progress. According to the head of the delegation, the leaders of Niger's military coup said they would be open to a diplomatic solution, something they've never said before. Regional bloc ECOWAS is also trying to use its clout to come up with a political solution. That's despite giving the coup leaders an ultimatum and putting forward the prospect of a military intervention last week. The bloc has also imposed sanctions on Niger, which the junta on Sunday called illegal, inhumane and humiliating.